of head coach Steve Nash after this game one loss. Coach, I know the Celtics won the game on a buzzer beater, but in your mind, where do you feel like the game was lost perhaps before then? Yeah, you could look at a number of ways. You know, there's obviously areas of the game where you want to improve. Uh, so take your pick, you know. Uh, proud of the guys. You know, it was our first, you know, real intense playoff experience together. Uh, we had a poor start to the second half, which cost us, obviously. But, uh, you know, other than that, I thought there was, uh, you know, a lot of growth from our group. Defensively, what did you see overall? I know that was ebb and flow over the game, but what did you see defensively overall? Yeah, I mean, you know, it's always rash to say after the game, you know, until you look at it. It's never, it's never quite the same in your mind as it is on tape. So, you know, I, I think for us, you know, we got we got hit on the boards a little bit, um, and we we turned it over in the first half and gave them runouts. So, you know, you add those up in a in a game that's decided at the buzzer, and, and it's hard to overcome. Coach, how did you see that final possession play out? It looked like you guys played some pretty solid defense and then Tatum just got it at the last second. Yeah, you know, at that point, it's a little bit random. They, they pushed it. And uh, instead of calling a timeout, I thought we took away the first action with uh, Brown. Uh, went to Smart. I thought we were we were intelligent on that side of the action, but he got in a crack and somehow found Tatum, who, who made an intelligent cut. So, you know, uh, split second here or there, and, and uh, the game goes the other way. What did you see from Kyrie tonight? I mean, 39, he looked like he was locked in from the mm. door. Yeah, I, I, you know, obviously he made some incredible shots. And we've come to expect that from him. But, uh, you know, in this environment and atmosphere to make shots, we needed him. But, uh, you know, he was, he was brilliant shot making tonight. Has he gotten to the point where, yes, he was, re he was reacting to the crowd, but in a way that he's been able to harness that in a way that, fu that fueled him in, in perhaps into that fourth quarter that he had? Yeah, I mean, this is a guy that's um, made the game-winning shot in the finals. Uh, he's played in the Olympics. He's played in an all-star game, all-star game MVP. You know, he, he, there's, I don't know that there's any atmospheres that are really going to rattle him. You know, so that was kind of my point before the game. You know, I don't, you know, that's not it. If he has an off night, he has an off night. I don't think crowd is a, is a factor for Kyrie. He's, the guy's done, done about all you can do in the game. so much offensively. I thought they were really physical, you know, and putting their hands on him a lot. Um, you know, they, they definitely crowded his space, uh, but the physicality, you know, I thought they were, you know, able to really chuck him and, and, and get two hands on him more than, uh, more than you know, the, the game warrants, I think. That's what I was kind of leading into. I mean, what are the things that you learned from this game that you can apply you know, in game two, in terms of getting Kevin better looks or more open and cleaner looks. Yeah, I mean, there's, you know, obviously we we can look at the tape and, and find different ways, but um, you know, we I don't don't want to overreact right now after the game. We got to watch it, and see what we think, and how we can help him. But uh, you know, Kevin's Kevin Durant for a reason. He figures things out on his own very very well, and we'll definitely look at it collectively, and uh, we'll improve. Thank you guys.